Welcome to another edition of Reyes Power International. Today I'd like to talk about Viagra for muscle growth. That's right, for muscle growth. Now, this is very involved scientifically. It's very complicated, but I think as lifters we need to try to understand it because we can benefit from it. Now, lifters have been conditioned to think of nitric oxide or NO as a supplement only. Few know that NO is produced by nearly every cell in the body. Now, as a vasodilator, NO relaxes the muscles of the blood vessels, causing the vessels to widen, increasing blood flow and lowering blood pressure. However, this process is inhibited by an enzyme known as CGMP specific phosphodiesterase type 5. We'll call it PDE5. Now, PDE5 is an enzyme responsible for vasodilation and vasoconstriction. Now, here's how it works. Cyclic guanosine monophosphate, or CGMP, regulates glycogenolysis, the breakdown of glycogen to glucose. It also relaxes smooth muscle tissue, such as vascular smooth muscle, leading to vasodilation and increased blood flow. Now, PDE5 turns off this process, stopping both glycogenolysis and vasodilation. Now, for someone attempting to gain lean muscle tissue, the result is the loss of a muscle pump and the inhibition of glucose production, which is necessary for muscle growth. Now, PDE5 inhibitors like Viagra block the degradative action of CGMP specific PDE5 on cyclic blood vessels supplying a number of different tissues. Now, let's talk about how this all relates to muscle growth. Impairments in nitric oxide mediated processes such as muscle regeneration and mitochondrial biogenesis the building of muscle mass, are thought to be responsible for reduced muscle performance from aging and disease. By blocking CGMP-specific PDE5, which inhibits NO, Viagra promotes muscle regeneration and mitochondrial biogenesis. <clears throat> In one study, it was determined that skeletal muscle protein synthesis was doubled when sildenafil, or generic Viagra, was administered. <clears throat> the result was compared to the gains made when 100 the 200 milligrams of testosterone were administered on a weekly basis. Now, Viagra still requires a prescription from a doctor. While it is available on the black market, it would be unwise to self-administer this drug without monitoring from a licensed professional as it raises CGMP, which also promotes platelet aggregation. Overuse could potentially lead to a stroke or a heart attack in someone who has blocked or damaged arteries. So always do your research and consult a physician when you're attempting to alter your body's chemistry. You will never regret it. I'd like to thank everybody for watching today's video. I've been power bodybuilding now for 37 years and I want to share that information with you. So if you've enjoyed today's video, please subscribe and share with your friends.